Okay guys, we're going to be learning how to create or we're going to learn how to move our game objects from left to right and up and down uh, using horizontal and vertical input. So let's get right into it and jump into our Unity project. So this is our project from our previous tutorial. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the link in the, in the description. But all we have here is a simple uh, prefab that we created. Uh, we created a very ugly looking person. It's just a bunch of squares that's been resized into um, to look like a, a person. And then in our previous tutorial, we, what we did was we added in our, our person script and we learned how to control or we learned how to write some code. So in today's video, we're going to be learning how to actually control our, our, our person. We're going to move him or we're going to move our game object from left to right and then also up and down just using the arrow keys. So let's go ahead and jump into our script. So we can go ahead and delete what we did yesterday because that was just to test that this works. So we can delete this method and then we also don't need that because we deleted it. We probably won't need our start method either. Uh, we could probably just save time, just swap the start to update. Which we will need because we want to go ahead and create a method here called move game object and that's going to allow us to call it whenever we want to move our move our game object so let's go and call this private because we will only need it from we won't need to call it from any other class and we'll call it void because we don't want it to return anything so let us save that jump back into unity And then if we go back into our code, we can now call our move game object uh, method from our update function. So let's go and say move game object. And now in here, we want to go ahead and get our horizontal movement um, or horizontal input first. Let's go and say var uh, horizontal input. Is going to be equal to input. If I can type input dot get axis, and then we want to open our brackets, and in here we want to type in horizontal. So whenever we get, whenever we move, uh, well, whenever we press our left and right arrows or our A and D keys, it's going to register a value in this horizontal input variable. So to, in order for us to see this, let's go ahead and we could probably print this out. So let's go and say debug dot log. And then let's go ahead and put in horizontal input. So if we save that and jump back into Unity, play our game and hopefully we can see our horizontal input is being printed at zero because we're not actually pressing our buttons. But as soon as we, as soon as we, um, okay, it's going a bit too fast for us to see. But anyway, let's go play that again and let us see if we okay so you can see yeah so there you can see if we press the right key it increases to one and if we press the left key it decreases to minus one in other words it's going left or going right so if it's positive the player is going right and if it's negative the player is going left so now we can go ahead and delete that and now we can say if uh, horizontal let's say if um, input dot get key uh, open bracket and say key code dot left arrow or the exact same thing but instead of left arrow we will say uh, right arrow so if we are pressing 
the left or the right arrow we want to go ahead and move our game object so let us go and say first of all we need to go ahead and add we need to add well we already have a rigid body so let's go ahead and access that off of our game object so let's say um, serialize, serialize field rigid body 2d rigid body just like that and then in here we can say rg dot um, transform dot translate and then in here or actually yeah so in here let's go ahead and say vector2 vector2 dot right times the horizontal value input or horizontal input rather and then we want to times the time so times time dot time delta time in fact now delta time there you go then we want to introduce a speed so we'll go ahead and create that so in here let's go and say float speed is equal to five maybe so that will allow us to move our player from left to right. So let's go ahead and save that. Jump back into Unity. Oh, wrong way. And let's go ahead and see if we are able to move our player from left to right now. So if we play our game, we will no longer get anything printed because we got rid of that. But if we press our left and arrow, left and right key, we need to actually assign our, our rigid body over here. So it'll drag and drop that in. So let's play this again and now we should be able to move our player from left to right just like that so now that is our, our horizontal movement so let's go ahead and do our vertical movement so that is pretty much going to be the exact same but instead of our horizontal input we want to go ahead and get our vertical so we'll create another variable called vertical input and then we'll get our vertical axis off of that and then we will pretty much say if um, the same thing as before if input dot get key key code dot uh, what is it? up arrow or uh, input dot get key code dot down arrow I think it is yeah down arrow then we want to go and say rigid body oh, what do we do rg dot transform dot translate open brackets and say vector to vector to but instead of going right we want to go and say vector to dot up and then the same thing instead of horizontal input we're going to put our vertical input times vertical so we'll go ahead, go ahead and say vertical sorry ve vector 2 dot up times vertical input then we also want to times that by our time dot delta time and then the same thing we want to times that by our speed so if we save that and jump back into our Unity project, we should now be able to move our, our, our what is it called, our game object, in this case our person, up and down, as well as left and right. So let's go and play. We can still move from left to right, but now we can also move from up and down. So that's perfect. That is working very nicely. And that is it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if it was, please give it a like and don't forget to look at our or go and watch our previous tutorials. There are more coming up every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And if you enjoy these, please go ahead and look at our or go ahead and look at my game series. So at, at the moment we're currently in our Angry Zombies series, I think it is. Yeah, we're on probably on our last episode by the time this one gets released. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put the link to that also in the description and go ahead and watch that and see if there's any help to you. If it's not, then I'm sorry, but it's, it's pretty cool, what I think, but yeah. Um, 
if you have any friends that are interested in game development please go ahead and recommend them to you or to them but I think that's it for this episode so thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in the next episode bye